hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm sharing two ways you can make ice cream at home without using an ice cream machine i'm sharing how to make chocolate ice cream vanilla stroke strawberry ice cream all without using an ice cream machine and trust me after this recipe you will not buy ice cream from the store again it's getting warm outside so sit back let's make this ice cream So to begin, I'm going to make the chocolate ice cream first and for that you need some heavy whipping cream. Now the good thing about this recipe is that you need only three ingredients, heavy whipping cream, cocoa powder and some condensed milk. Now for the heavy whipping cream, you may find some that say heavy cream. It's the same. You can use that one as well. If you can't find cocoa powder, you can use Milo in place of cocoa powder or any hot chocolate mix in place of that as well. But then you will have to reduce the amount of condensed milk you use because those things are already sweetened. But for today's recipe, I'm going to be using cocoa powder. So I just brought out the bowl and the whisk out from the freezer. Chilling it this way will help the cream and the milk form into a stiff peak faster, especially if your environment is hot try doing this so now i'm going to add the cream into the bowl i was going to do just two cups but then i doubled it because i knew my kids were going to devour this ice cream <laughs> yeah so i added four cups of cream into the bowl so once i add that i'll start on a very low speed and then gradually increase it and let it beat until it forms into a stiff peak it took about five minutes to get to that point So when it becomes stiff like this, then it is time to add the condensed milk, but, but not until I tasted it, Sha. Mm -hmm. I had to taste it. So now I'm going to add the condensed milk. One good thing with making your ice cream at home is that you can reduce the amount of sweetened condensed milk you add to the ice cream. And of course, you know what's in your ice cream because you're making it yourself. This recipe calls for two cans of condensed milk for four cups of cream, which is what I have just added. So I'm going to cream this together and because I'm making chocolate ice cream, I'm not going to be using any flavor. I'm going to just mix everything together. Then I go in with my spatula to make sure that everything is properly mixed in because sometimes you still have some milk hanging, you still have some condensed milk hanging somewhere. So I always go in with a spatula to make sure everything is good down there. So once everything is properly combined now, I'm going to turn it off and set some of the cream aside in another bowl. We're going to use that for another flavor. See how beautiful that cream looks, you guys. I was just licking this thing off camera. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Next, I'll add half cup of cocoa powder into the remaining cream and then mix it properly until everything is properly combined, scraping down the side every now and then to make sure everything is smooth. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am the Joyful Cook. Please take a moment, click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe. It's somewhere down to your right. Click on it, hit the notification bell and click the one that says all notification it is free of charge it will only notify you anytime i upload a new video so you'll be among the first to know thank you so once everything is properly creamed this is what it should look like and you guys is this not looking good so now i'm going to transfer it into a container you can use a plastic container a glass container i'm using a bread pan yes you can use anything that is just deep like this so i'm going to add the ice cream in there and let it chill for six hours or overnight if you can wait <laughs> i waited for four hours and i had soft peaks which is okay before then i'll cover it with a plastic wrap and then let it chill in the freezer Now that is chilling in the freezer, I'm going to go ahead and clean the bowl and pat it dry as well so we can take care of the other one that we set aside. So I'm going to add that back into the clean bowl. You don't want any color mixing here. Yeah. 
so next i'm going to go ahead and add some vanilla flavor and the quality of vanilla flavor you're using is what will give you that sumptuous experience for this particular flavor we're going for so i'm going to add about two teaspoons of that and then mix everything until it is properly combined so once that is mixed in you guys this thing smelled so good smelled amazing so once everything is properly combined i'm going to you know turn it off and if you're making just vanilla ice cream this is it for you this is vanilla ice cream you can stop right here but i was going to add food coloring so i scooped out some of the ice cream and added just a drop of the of the red food coloring and then mix everything again until everything is properly combined so once this is properly combined i go in with a spatula you know to make sure everything is well incorporated then i now start layering it first i add the vanilla then i add the strawberry we can call this strawberry now right yeah i'll add the strawberry next i'll add the vanilla i'm going to keep layering them just like so and then i'll go in with a pointy area of a spatula and just give it a swell around and then let it freeze in the freezer for six hours or overnight Another way to do this without a stand mixer is to add your cream into a bowl and then go in with a hand whisk just like this and whisk 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 until it forms stiff peaks just like so. It happens really quick. This took me about 7 minutes. It wasn't that long. Yeah and it's good work for the arms. Once it forms into stiff peak, add the sweetened condensed milk, add your vanilla extract, mix 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 and your ice cream is ready. You can also use a hand mixer to do this, you'll have the same result, you know, in case you don't want to go through all this scenario, I mean all this process, just use a hand mixer or a whisk just as I'm doing now and you'll have the same result. So again, if you want just vanilla flavor ice cream, this is it, you can stop right here but i'm going to add my red food coloring this that particular one was my favorite even my kids favorite so i made more of it you can make more chocolate or anyone you like just make yourself happy okay <laughs> so i'm going to mix that in properly until everything is combined and then i'm going to layer it again and let it freeze in the freezer for six to eight hours or overnight I hope you get to try out this recipe guys it was so good you're not going to buy store-bought ice cream anymore after trying out this recipe um, i'm sure you can find everything you need in the grocery store if you're in nigeria you can find the cream in supermarkets like Shoprite. if you're in the diaspora almost every grocery store carries cream you can buy vanilla extract from the store or from amazon so there's no reason why you should not try out this recipe okay and like i said you can control the amount of sweetened condensed milk you add to your to your cream and you know what's in your ice cream you know so yeah please try out this recipe so before i pop it in the freezer i'll just cover it with a plastic wrap and let it freeze for six to eight hours but i waited just four hours okay so this was four hours later our chocolate is nice and ready and you guys this is the creamiest chocolate ice cream i have ever had don't argue with me just believe me okay yes so i'm going to scoop it just like so and enjoy i'm going to do the same with the other one as well and you guys our ice cream is ready i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and share thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye, -bye.